What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video we are going to be reviewing my favorite fountain pen, the Estherbook J series fountain pen. I unfortunately don't know the exact J series model of this fountain pen. Uh, if some of you can look at this and tell me, it will be greatly appreciated, but it's by far my favorite. And just for reference, for those that can help me out, it's the full size one. I know they make a smaller one that was, I think it was called the purse model, but this one is the full size model that I actually I got from an antique shop. And so let's take a look at it. It comes in multiple colors. You can get this kind of red, it comes in black, it comes in this like crazy copper color, this kind of bluish kind of uh, aqua blue, and even some kind of purple color. So absolutely gorgeous. And let's take a close look at it. So here it is itself. Here it's, uh, I wish you could see this properly. Let me see if I can get it in view. What if I brought it closer? I don't know. It's, it's hard enough for me to see in person. Um, but here it says Esterbrook, very small print. Let me see if I can focus this. Let's try, huh? Yep, my phone's, my camera's not gonna let me get, it's not giving, okay. Might have just made this worse, oh well. We'll go with it, okay, it's not gonna happen. But anyways, it says Esterbrook there, here it says nothing, and here this is the actual um, plunger component or that presses against the sack when I pull it up. I'll show you how to refill this pen and we'll use that mechanism. So here it is, this is all plastic, but I have to say for plastic, this looks really pretty. Um, in this day and age, I have not seen fountain pens made by any company, um, at least in the US, here for me to see that are of low cost, you know, a reasonable cost, not some extremely expensive fountain pen that has this kind of nice detail and beautiful look made out of plastic. There are many fountain pens that are absolutely gorgeous now, but they cost hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. This fountain pen is under $50. It's a good deal. And I know some of you, if there are some of you who don't use fountain pens, you're like, 50 bucks, are you crazy? If you are unfortunate enough to get, you know, into the field of collecting pens, some things just become used to you. So how, how do you open it? It's a twisty style, you can't just pull. And here's the cap. That's nothing in there really. And okay, so these black things I believe are called jewels. So mine's double jeweled. I got one on the bottom and the top. All right, so I'll put the cap aside and here it is. So here's the fountain pen itself. I put it in such that this plunger component is opposite this because I just like it like that. And it works beautifully. So I have some, I'll just show you the ink I have here. I'm using some shape, I think, I, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Schaefer. Let me know if I'm wrong. And I'm using this kind of brown color. It's more of a brown, blonde, bronze, excuse me. And uh, I just think it's really pretty. And I, and I kind of like how it goes with the uh, exterior color. So let's just do some quick writing. Um, just for reference, the nib on here, I have the Esterbrook. Um, I wish you guys could really read this fine writing. It's engraved in uh, the 9668, and it says made in USA. The 9 series, I believe, has this iridium tip, um, and it's more of a medium nib, uh, which I like. And let's just do some quick writing. I'll put some... Doesn't skip, doesn't do anything. It's this nice kind of light brown. It's a little bit darker in person than as the camera is showing, um, but I absolutely love it, right? Some quick movements here, it can keep up. It can keep up with whatever I do. I just write some like, oh, there we go, got a little, got a little bit skipping there, people. <laughs> okay, I love this pen, I use it all the time. This ink to me is very, you know, it's kind of majestic, it's old school, it goes with the pen style, um, and I enjoy that. So let's talk about how to refill this pen, okay? So this is a plunger component. What does that mean? So I'll, so I'll go ahead and open it for you so you can see the inside and understand how the refill works. To open it, you just kind of pull like this very gently. Give it a little tug and pull, a little tug and pull, and there we go, it came out, okay? And so now, as I remove this, okay, there we go. Got a little bit of ink there, oh no. Um, as I remove this, you can see it, okay? So, that's the inside. So this is just the thing, and, the, and this will come up, okay? It's spring-loaded, and it comes back down. And when it does that, as it comes up, it's pressing a plate against. And what's it, what is it pressing against? This little, um, plastic sack. And so what you do, I actually restored this myself, so I purchased this and I put this on, I had some orange shellac, I believe it's called, to as the adhesive, and I cleaned this out, but I like to put mine in, and you shove it in very gently, don't ruin the sack, okay? And I like to put mine here against the back. Let me just put it in the way I like it, okay? And you just give it one little tug, and you 
push it in, and that's all. It's in, okay, so that's how you install it. And how do you refill? Well, it's quite simple. Go ahead and take your bottle of ink. Okay, and we have this beautiful brown. And what do you do? Okay, so you bring it here, get it inside, and, okay, bring it here, and go about bringing this down. That will then compress against the sack and empty all of the ink out of it. Then you just put it in, so I'm running a little bit low on ink, so I have to kind of, you just put it in there, okay? And then just flip this back. That will allow the sack to expand and to suck up the ink as it does that. Just kind of clean it off like that. Normally I would take a paper towel and clean it off properly, but for the video I'll just keep it short for you guys so you don't have to live through that. And now the sack is full. Um, there is a little bit of ink here in the writing part, so I'll hold it here so I don't get my hands dirty. And let's um, see how the refill went. Oh my god, it went wonderful. And now you can see after the refill it writes a little bit heavier than before. That's always the case with all fountain pens. The nib is just full of ink, so it's going to write a bit heavy. But that's how you refill this Esther Book J series. Uh, you know, you pull that, you push against it, and it goes against the sack. And to put it back in, you just do the twist, and there you go. In my opinion, absolutely beautiful. Um, when I bring this pen out in front of someone, they are always like, whoa, let me see that. It looks pretty. It stands out. It's not a typical big, you know, um, ballpoint. Of course, I don't you know, it's, you don't use it to show off or to stand out, but you just, I enjoy it using it for myself. It's fun. Um, it's enjoyable. I like the look. It's a little bit old school. This pen was created before I was born. I mean, that's how good these things are made. So I love it. Restored it myself. I have a connection with it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of my favorite fountain pen and the ink that I use with it, which is the uh, this little Schaefer Brown. And whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Good thing I didn't even make a mess there. And I'll leave a link below for the ink and maybe some way for you guys to find this pen. I had to buy it off an antique shop, but hopefully it's on the internet now. Um, probably on eBay. I'm not sure. But anyways, let me know if you have this fountain pen. If you have your what what is your favorite fountain pen? I like to know. What's your favorite ink? This brown ink is my favorite. Even though I do have a video on that uh, Noodler's uh, Red Nikita ink, um, this brown one is clearly my favorite. It's like the most majestic and uh, it's just gorgeous to me. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Share it with your friends who like fountain pens, who like writing. And as always, enjoy your studies.